Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, i like to give all honors, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. i like to give double honors and Shalom to all the elders, bishops, and apostles of the Great Millstone. i like to give a Shalom and double salutations to all the hopeful elect and a Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there. Who believe in this truth, this knowledge, this understanding. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father. Which means he exists or he to be. Right? Which the world ignorantly called God or Lord. Right? And Yahweh Shai. Being the true name of the beloved Heavenly Son. Which means he the Savior or he the Deliverer. Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is your brother, Howard Shai, GMS St. Louis, back at you with another lesson. And at the camp on Sunday, we had a, a Israelite brother come through that uh, didn't know that he was an Israelite. And upon further discovery and talking to this brother, he said that he was a, a Muslim. Okay. Um I mean, he made differences between Muslims. So what I gather from him or what he say he to believe or be a, a orthodox, orthodox Muslim. And we were trying to tell the brother, you know, uh, you're you're not Muslim. You're you're Israelite. OK. Uh, look like according to the flesh, he could have been a tear, you know, but we was trying to tell the brother, you know, uh, uh you know, you're Israelite or, or or have him to consider because he didn't look like Ishmael. He could have been Ishmael, but he didn't look like an Ishmael. And the way his his spirit, his feistiness, his his uh um uh, hard headed, his stubbornness, right, didn't uh display him being a, a Ishmael or uh or of the heathen nations. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. And then, you know, the best part, we're going to get into the scriptures, okay? So without further ado, let's get into this video. I got two different things because you spoke on two different things right now. My question to you would be, do you believe in Moses? Do you believe in the Ten, Ten Commandments? Okay, beautiful. The first scripture I'm going to get, it says... This is Exodus 20 and 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So when you place Allah in front of the Most High Power, that's the same thing. Let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Same thing. Okay. It's not the same thing. Yeah, it's a different thing. It's not they the same thing. They believe, they okay. literally, believe in the same God. Bro. It's not the same thing. Really do, 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 do you call on your Hawa or do you, do you say Allah? I just say God. Okay, but well let me finish this thing. Exodus 20 and 3, thou shalt have no other gods, plural, small g, before me. Okay. Now I'm going to move over to 2 Peter because the brother explained to me. Right, right. You know, as uh, the brother in the camp was explaining to this other guy, right, that you should have no other gods before him, right? And we're going to show you, according to the scriptures, you know, what he was uh, talking about. If I may expound upon it, you know, because the brother was telling him right, you know, because the name, the name of the Heavenly Father is so important. OK, the name of the Heavenly Father is so super duper important. And the guy was saying it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. OK. And we're going to get into it, right? We're going to go to Exodus, right? Exodus 20, which he, the brother went to. Exodus 20 and 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, right? And we're going to, uh, no, it says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Let's get into it, right? So when you go, right, <clears throat> down here, the uh, blue letter has Elohim, right? So Elohim, but if you look at the modern Hebrew, right? 
if you look at the modern Hebrew, right? Let me let me split this and pull up my picture. Okay, bam. If you split it, right? You look at this top word uh, uh, in the modern Hebrew, right? You got ah it, at the Assyrian uh, Ezra script at the bottom. You got you if you match the the letters, you got ah right, la, ha, ya, m, alahayim. Okay, which means if you go to the the definitions. So this is Alahayim, right? You got uh if you go to the definitions, you got judges, rulers, divine ones, uh angels, gods, right? So gods, uh gods, god godness, uh a godlike one, works or special position of God, right? And they go off to say the true God, right? Even though, right, Alahayim's Right. It, 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 it means uh, power. OK, the, the blue letters going off. It means power. Right. Because if we go to the root word. Right. If we go to the root word, let's hit it. The root word right here. You get the blue letters going off again. It says Elo Eloha. Right. But if you look at it again, if you go into the root word, you go into the. The, the root word, the, the smaller meaning of the word, the, the, the okay, so at the uh, Assyrian script, as you got on the right, and you match it up with the uh, Assyrian on the left, right? Again, you got ah, la, wa, Allah, why? Let me match it up. Allah, wa, Allah, wa, ha. Alawaha, Alawaha, right? So, and even if you break it down a little bit more, which, okay, so Alawa, Alawa, Alawaha, right, is God, a false God, right? But that's still not his name, okay? Alawaha is, is still not his name, okay? So, Alawaha, even if you break it down, the root word of Alawaha, let's hit it. The root word of Alawaha is, look at the Assyrian again, match the right with the left. You got la, right? And if you break it down, right, it says God, right? Like God, one, mighty one, mighty men, men of rank, mighty heroes, angels, God, false gods, demon, imagines, God, right? The the one true God, Jehovah, and that's totally off, right? Blue letter going off. Mighty things in nature, strength and power, which is the true definition. Because the angels got power, right? And pursuant to Psalms uh 82 and 6, it says, uh uh, uh in your law. Um, doesn't it say that you are gods and children of the most high, roughly paraphrasing. So Allah, right? Allah are powers. Allah means power. Okay. And that's not the name. That's not the true name of the heavenly father. The guy said, oh, well, it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing because we just showed you, right? Allah, right, it just simply means uh, uh, power. Allah is powers, is plural, okay? Look at looking at the at the uh, looking at the the Assyrian up top. You got ah match. You got to match the the left with the right, okay? You got ah. You going from right to left when you match it. You got ah, and then you got la, Allah. OK, which simply means power. And that's not the name. That's not the true name of the Heavenly Father. You say, well, it's, it's the same. It's the same being. It got different names. Well, names are important. OK, just like you Christians out there who, who worship the name Jesus. Now, OK, let me let me just show you something. Right. 
we're going to go to the book of Salakia. We're going to go to the book of Acts, right? Oh, da, 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 da. where is it at? Acts 26, yeah. Acts 26 and 14, right? And when, right here at uh, Acts 26 and 14, and when we, and when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, right? So we have the ancient Hebrew, right? And we got the Assyrian Hebrew. From this, how can you spell Jesus, right? If there's no J, there's no E, and there's no U. Okay? Either, either, we ain't talking about the Yiddish that the, con the converts speak, them 1948ers, the small hats. We ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that, 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 uh, 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 text that they use. We're not talking about that. You could you could put it in the Assyrian or you could put it in the ancient. Either way, you still can't spell the, the, the name G the name Jesus. So that's ultimately that's worshiping worshiping a false god. Okay. That's worshiping a false god. Because he he even asked the question, okay? Let's go to Proverbs 30. In verse four, excuse me, I, I'm off topic a little bit, but it says, who had ascended up into the heavens or descended, who had gathered the winds in his fist, who has bound the waters in his, in, in, in Salakia, who has bound the waters in a garment, who has established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou can tell? So that's a question for all you Israelites out there. What is his name and what is his son's name? Okay, so if, if you're not, if you not, if you don't know the true names of the heavenly father, right, and the beloved heavenly son, it ultimately boils down to idol, idol worship. OK. Now, let's get the true names of the Heavenly Father. OK, let's get the true name of the Heavenly Father. <laughs> OK. We're going to go back to Exodus, right? Chapter 20, right? OK, so if you go to Exodus 20 and five, right? Uh, okay. 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 Now, let's go to Exodus 20 and 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord. It say Lord, right? The God said, I just say Lord of God. Okay. But Lord, God, and uh, Allah, Hayim, or Allah, those are all uh, Lord and God are just titles, okay? And Allah, Allah or Allah Hayim is general because the, the angels got power. And when you say Yash, Yasha Allah, right? It's the prince of the power. Okay? Okay? You, you, you're sp only supposed to worship Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, Let's go to this Exodus 20 and 7, right? Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Okay, so let's get that, right? So when you scroll down of the Lord, right? <laughs> Blue letter going off again. They got Jehovah as transliteration, right? But here again, if you see the Assyrian right on the, the left side of your screen you match it up with the assyrian on the right side of the screen so right okay the first the first letter from right to left because that's how you read the hebrew right is yah it's not ye it's ya according to the assyrian and according to the hebrew you could do it in hebrew too okay <laughs> If you look at the Assyrian, it's Yah, right? The second letter is Ha, H-A, okay? 
Yah, Ha. The third letter is Wa, and then you go back to Ha. So the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, not Yehovah. The blue, the blue, the blue letter Bible is going off because they they cut themselves because if you match the Assyrian on the left, that was supposed to be his name down with the Assyrian on the right, right? You get Yahweh, not Yehovah, not Yahshua, not Yahweh, not Yah. Okay, and all them other crazy names they call the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. OK. Let's read the definition, the blue letter going off because, OK, so if you look at what they spell down here, outline of biblical uses, you can't spell Jehovah. If you look at the language, if you look at the alphabet. First of all, there's no J in the Hebrew, uh, uh, Assyrian or the ancient. We not talking about again. We not talking about what them 1948 is and them converts. They not the real people anyway. OK. The blue letter cut themselves. It's not you can't spell Jehovah with the ancient or the Assyrian. OK, there's 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 no O in either ancient or Assyrian. There's no V. There's no E. There's no J. OK. But the biblical uses they got. The existing one. The definition is right, but the name is not right. Okay. Is it good? The proper name of the one true God. Now they got that right. Okay. That is the proper name of the one true God. Okay. Because they got it up at the top of the page. Right. The, the, in the Assyrian. Right. Yahweh. Yahweh. Look. You match you match the left, uh, where they got the numbers, right? The next line, where they got it written in the Assyrian, Yahweh. Okay, so that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, which a lot of people are not privy to this knowledge. Okay, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so the guy was the guy. He he. We tried to tell him the true name of the heavenly Father, and like I said, he a Muslim. He wants to believe what he want to believe. Okay, Salakia. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the book of Salakia. Bear with me. Uh. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, right? Isaiah 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, okay? My people do not consider. And right, right here, we was giving this young man the words out of the scriptures, but yet still he didn't, you know, he didn't want to consider he was dead set on being a Muslim. And if that's what if that's what you want to go by, go ahead. OK. We're not going to uh, 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 have any strife or revelings with you. We just trying to tell you the truth. OK. Like Ephesians 4, 16. Have, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? OK. No. OK. But Israel does not consider, okay? You have two animals of no intelligence, but they know who they belong to, okay? So that just lets you know how, how sottish, as the scriptures say, the, the nation of Israel is in regards to knowing who they belong to, okay? Let's get some more, okay? We're going to go to the book of Romans, okay? Romans 3, right? Romans chapter 3, and we're going to start at the third verse. It says, For what if some did not believe? Share their unbelief, make the faith of God, Yahweh, without effect, right? 
Verse 4, God forbid, meaning hell no. It don't, it, it, it makes it not, not, uh, 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 it makes it in effect. It don't make it not effect. Yea, let God, Yahweh, be true, but every man a liar, right? The word of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, is, is, is true, okay? Muhammad and all them, Yachman, no, they liars. The word of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, is true, but every man a liar, okay? Even Yahweh, Yahweh Shai himself said, there's no good in me. There's only but one good. Okay? Verse, verse 3, for God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it, as it is written, that thou might be justified in thy sayings. Right. Justified in what sayings? Justified in these scriptures. Because it is the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Just because he don't believe, that don't mean it ain't going to come to pass. Okay? Just because he don't believe, that don't make the, 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 the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai uh, 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 not in effect. Because, listen, you can go through this Bible, right? And all the prophecies, and that's another thing. The Quran does not have prophecies. OK, you can go through this Bible and see it's been written long before the things, some of the things have happened in the past in that lifetime and in this lifetime. You see that this is coming true. OK, that's how you know this book is, is a breathing, living book, not the Quran. The Quran don't have any prophecies. OK, let's get one more. We're going to close it. Right. We're going to stay in the book of Romans. Romans 13. And verse 11, right? <laughs> okay. Verse 11, Romans 13 and 11. And knowing, and Salaki, and that knowing the time that now is high time to wake up, wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Okay. So knowing that you are Israelite, you have the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. And you have faith in your how shy and you dig, you start to dig into these scriptures and understand, you know, you know, you got you. Hey, that's part of waking up out of the sleep. OK, you got to know that you're Israelite, you know, your heritage going back on your daddy's side. Got to lead to a so-called black, Latino or Native American. OK, OK, you got to know the names of the heavenly father and the beloved heavenly son. OK, you got to have faith. In, 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 in the heavenly father and the son. Okay. And then you got to get into these scriptures. That's how you wake up out of this, this sleep. Okay. Okay. That's how you wake up out of this sleep. Okay. So with that, I hope your brothers and sisters have been edified. This is your brother, Howard Shai, GMS, St. Louis. Until the next one. Shalom. Shalom.